beautiful artists, welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So hit subscribe if you'd like to join the fun and paint along. Hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video gets posted. So today I have a very summery citrus painting for us. I'm uh, going to be doing three brushes for today's painting. I have my large flat brush, my medium size pointed brush, and a tiny brush. I have my water cup and paper towels off the side of the screen, and I have my colors set up here today. I'm using red, orange, yellow, phthalo green, and white to start with the background. Check the description box below for a more detailed materials list of everything that I use. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. First brush we're going to use is our big brush. And we're gonna create a loose gradation uh, going from one corner to the other here. So let's go ahead and start in this bottom corner. And I'm just going to use a little bit of my phthalo green. I'm going to mix it into this gorgeous minty pastel phthalo green. And just right in the corner there, I'm going to start layering in some brush strokes. Now just keep your brush going all different directions. I call this crazy brush strokes. And let's grab a little bit of yellow. We're going to make a gorgeous lime green. We're going to put that right next door. Very similar background to my Make-A-Wish painting, which is very popular on this channel. So this is sort of like a summery citrus with the Make-A-Wish background. <laughs> okay, gorgeous. Getting that gradation laid in. Let's go ahead and rinse our brush. dry it off a little bit on our paper towels just so we don't have too much green as we move into a section with just light yellow. So I have yellow and white here. It's totally okay if you get a little bit of green. We're working our way over and creating a beautiful gradation. And then you're going to just go ahead and go into the green. Don't be afraid. You gotta go in there, don't lay the colors right next to each other without blending. I see that happen all the time. Been teaching painting for about 10 years. I've done a lot of paintings with this kind of background. I specialize in beginners. So I know what you guys are doing. <laughs> uh, if you are painting along, you can post your art in my Art Club Facebook group. It's designed uh, for you guys. So definitely check that out in the description box below as well. Okay, let's go ahead and rinse our brush again. And I'm going to move to a sort of orangey pink once I get over here. So let's start with orange. It's almost a full rainbow. So we're gonna do that orange stripe about like so. all those citrusy colors. So my thoughts here were like lime, lemon, orange, and grapefruit. Once again, blending our colors together. Little bit of white helps everything just look a little bit more sherbet-y, a little bit more pastel, really fun. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm actually going to add a little bit more yellow back on top there. Acrylic painting is a play, so it's all about layering and you can always go over your paint with another layer of color. Be careful with those crazy brush strokes because things do get messy. Okay, that's beautiful, much better. Okay, and then one more color. I'm just loving these gorgeous summery colors. Gonna just pull a little bit of red into that orange and make a beautiful grapefruit sherbet color. A little bit of orange. That was a little bit too much. One of my top tips 
do not apply the paint to the canvas until you have the right color. Sounds simple, but it's very important. Okay, so you want it to be noticeably redder than that orange. Very fun rainbow gradation. Mine is purple. <laughs> Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna add just a little bit of a lighter pink in the corner, just to kind of add a little bit of interest there. All right. Trying to get that texture consistent throughout my background. That looks really cool. I really dig it. All right, let's go ahead and let this dry and we'll come back and add some of our citrus fruit. So see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back artists. Let's go ahead and add some citrus to our gorgeous rainbow of backgrounds. I rinsed my brushes and I got fresh water. I have a fully dry canvas with my background here and I also have fresh colors. So I have on here black, some more of the phalo green, some more of the bright red, some more orange, bright yellow, and a fair amount of white as well. Now, before we get to filling in uh, any of our citrus fruits individually, let's go ahead and just space out what we want our composition to look like. So let's use our baby brush for this. And we're just gonna use a tiny bit of white, just white by itself. Now, I wanna have a grapefruit, an orange, a lemon, and a lime slice. And what I want to do is I want to put them in their opposing color area. So I want to have the lime over here in red rather than here in the green where it might kind of get lost. Uh, and so that it contrasts like that. So those are just things that I have in mind as I lay out my uh, composition here. But ultimately it can be however you like. You can have like, you know, one big grapefruit in the middle <laughs> or, you know, just lemons or however you'd like. Uh, but I'm going to try to do one of each. So I want to do, let's see, I want to do my grapefruit, I think off of this side. So I'm just going to try to do a fairly big circle. Now remember, if you have a hard time creating circles, find something circular in your house to help you, such as a roll of tape uh, or a little dish or a jar or your paint water cup or look around i'm sure you can find lots of different shapes and sizes of circles okay so that's going to be my grapefruit and then i'm going to do let's do a lemon right here mm. yeah kind of go over a little bit eh, maybe a little bit in the orange do a nice brown lemon like so I think I'll do my orange right here. And then just a little lime slice, like so. That looks pretty cute. I start small and then you can always make them a little bit bigger. Okay, grapefruit, orange, lemon, lime. So I'll probably make my grapefruit a little bit bigger as I fill in. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna switch to my slightly larger, medium sized pointed brush and go ahead and fill these in with their main colors. So let's go ahead and start with our grapefruit. So grapefruit pink is gonna be red and orange, probably a little bit more on the red side, and then a little bit of white peachy, orange-ish pink. I'll add a little bit more red. So I'll probably end up using 80% red, 20% orange. There, that looks beautiful. Okay, then I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my grapefruit space. And as I fill this in, I'm going to try to make it as circular as possible. We're gonna fill in the shape like so 
really fun summery colors. I'm going to bring it just a little bit further out. And then to get our brush strokes all going the right direction, I'm actually going to start to create some inward pointing texture. And I'm also going to grab just a little bit of white and just really lightly blend in the first layer of highlights. So this is a wet on wet blending that we're doing right now, which is different than layering. Really subtle. Okay, just a little bit there and then you can go ahead and rinse your brush. And you can fill these in however you'd like, um, but I think I'm gonna do my lemon next. I love citrus. This is a really fun painting for your kitchen. Bright and sunny and colorful, just how I like my art. Just filling that in with a pastel yellow. Again, just mixing my colors with white to create that pastel tint. If you'd like to learn more about color theory, color mixing, color blending, and some other technical information, I'm creating a course right now called Acrylic Boot Camp. It's going to be out before the end of July. And the first 50 patrons on my Patreon are gonna get a free copy of that. So check that out. Patreon, we do bonus classes uh, once a month as well. And you guys get to vote on what the subject matter of that class is. And that class is a little bit more kind of beginning intermediate. So that's one of the reasons I wanna give patrons the acrylic boot camp. Uh, to make them feel really confident going in with the slightly longer tutorials. And we also have a monthly Q&A on Patreon, or as I call it, Q&Art. Go ahead and rinse that brush. Let's fill in our orange. It's a pretty small group of us right now on Patreon. So jump on that first 50 deal if you'd like to get the copy of the boot camp patreon's just a dollar a week suggested donation four dollars a month and the boot camp is probably going to be i'm designing it to be like a 40 dollar course so that's about the value of it but it's going to go up on a couple different platforms so Patreon should hopefully be a ton of value and we are having really a lot of fun there even though it's just our little small group right now but it's great because I'm a little small channel that's just how it goes so I'm loving it and having fun and plan to do this for many years <laughs> okay that looks great and you can either cover your sketch line or not, it's kind of your opportunity now to finesse that shape. Whether you want it slightly bigger or slightly smaller. That is looking really cute though, I'm digging it. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush and do my little lime slice. Now I'm gonna use some of my phthalo green and a fair amount of yellow, as well as a little bit of white to get that really gorgeous, vibrant lime green. I'm just filling in that lime slice. What's your favorite type of citrus fruit? 
I'm probably, I know they're not as popular, but I love grapefruits. I don't mind the sour bitter. I think it's delicious. Okay, and again, we'd have this center point here, so our brush strokes would be coming out, kind of fanning out from there. And again, we can add just a little tiny bit of white into these shapes as well while the paint is still wet. I didn't do that in my orange and yellow, so it's not too late. It's always coming from the center point and then just traveling outwards all around. Really subtle. Just adding a little bit of depth. Looking really, really cute. Okay. And also in our yellow. Go. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and grab our baby brush. And we're going to paint our rinds now. So go ahead and leave the center of your citrus fruits alone for a moment to dry so that we can add another layer on top of them in a minute. Uh, but go ahead and use your baby brush and we're gonna create a white outline around each of these round shapes and around the round part here. Uh, and you can just grab a little bit of your white and if you want to add just a pinch of water in, that will help it go nice and smooth. And just roll your brush in the paint to come to a nice point with the bristles of the brush. And I'm gonna balance my hand a little bit on the canvas. Be careful not to pull your hand through any wet paint, which I do all the time. I saw a fellow artist with like a bracelet that was bracing them above the painting so that they weren't pulling their hand through it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get one of those. But no such technology yet. Free hand in it. Overhead, a little bit trickier. Don't be afraid to get really close to your painting. <laughs> Creating that nutritious rind. The pulp. The pulp on the inside of the rind, to be technical. Circular as possible. Okay. Here we go. Around our orange. Take your time with this. No hurry. Here we go. Okay. And then we'll need to do around our little lime as well. But just around the circular part. Just the outside of that round lime that is sliced. Okay, now we're going to do one more layer of rind. So around each of our circular shapes, we're gonna have a darker color version. So let's start with our grapefruit. We're just gonna use, oh, actually for our grapefruit, 
we're gonna use yellow. So this one's not a darker version. This is actually a different color entirely. Little bit of yellow mixed with white. Again, all of our colors are pastel. Okay. I'm just gonna create that rind that goes around the grapefruit now. Same baby brush, about the same thickness. You wanna make sure that you get enough paint on the canvas so that you don't see the colors underneath. So you may even need to hit this with a second layer delicately building each individual fruit. Okay, for the yellow lemon, we are gonna use a yellow rind. So actually it's gonna be pretty much that same yellow a little bit darker than the yellow that we started with. It's a pretty good size lemon. Good. Definitely the most delicate part of the painting. Make sure to come all the way off the edge. And again, with that yellow, sometimes it's hard to get full coverage. So you might need two layers. Okay, green, just a little bit of a darker lime green. Very pretty. This one can actually go right on top of the white there as well. It's kind of like a shadow. And then orange, just using a darker orange. Same idea. Very pretty colors. All right, that looks great. Delicious. Okay, let's go ahead and add a little bit of inside goodness here. All kinds of things. So the first thing that we're gonna do is break up these into kind of like a pizza. So you want it to go right through the center And just break it up like so. Okay. Now 
And then in each of those sections, I think I need some clean white. And just kind of go right back over and make it a little bit bolder. And also you're going to make it curved like so. That's how we create our little sections of orange or whatever it may be. It's so okay if a little bit of orange gets in there. The pulp is sort of see through as well. creating little curved sections. And you wouldn't see that part since it's going off the canvas, but you want to be as good as you can about attention to detail even in that part. So you got to ask yourself, like, would that be the end? Would it start to curve maybe a little bit like so? Okay, looking good. Same delicious white pulp in our grapefruit. Okay. Coming always from the center point. And then curving the sections as well. Really makes all the difference. in the shape. Okay. Same idea in the lemon. just like a little pizza, cutting up the different slices. Okay, same idea, curving the ends of those sections. It's a good opportunity to add a little bit more opacity onto our white. from before. There you go. Very cute. All right. And the lime as well. Very cute. Okay. All right, looks great. Now with our baby brush as well, and that same weight, 
one other little baby step. So in each of these sections, we're gonna very gently just kind of flick our brush in the direction of the slice. And that adds just a little bit more depth and interest into each one of these. So it's gonna come from the outside inwards like that, but also the in out, from the center out and from the outside edge to the center. Same idea with your orange, a little bit from the outside and from the inside. Okay. You can rinse your brush in between colors if you need to. And you can also always go back on top and make the white a little bit more opaque if you need to. Okay, that looks good. Just a little bit in my yellow. It's very subtle, but it still makes a difference. Okay. I think that yellow needs more coat around its outside edge too so I'm just gonna get that real quick there we go okay and then there, we're gonna add a little bit of shadow into each of this as well so in each of the centers we're gonna have a little dot and then we're also gonna have a little bit of really bright, vibrant color in each one of these shapes as well. So highlights and shadows. That's what painting is all about, is creating the shapes and filling them in with the base colors and then creating highlights and shadows. Okay. Same idea in her lime. Almost done, everybody. You're doing great. I apologize for all the neighborhood noise. I don't know what you guys can hear, but there's a lawnmower and there's some chickens. <laughs> it is only nine in the morning, but everyone is apparently on top of it this morning. Okay. In our orange, pretty much just the right out of the bottle colors. You can even add a pinch of red if your orange is not quite dark enough. And then a nice big dot right in the center. Our grapefruit. Like so. These curved areas, a little bit of that curved shadow looks really nice.
Okay, it's looking really, really cute. You can put any other final touches that you'd like on your painting, but that is all the instruction that I have for you guys today. So I hope you liked today's painting. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments section below. I'd love to see you over in the art club or over on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay creative.